Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel WD Coders. Today in this video, you will see how I will install PrimeNG UI component library in Angular 17. Okay, so first of all, my request is if you are new on my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button for the latest videos. And very soon, I will upload Gmail type clone on my channel. Okay, so let's get started. So you can see. I have created a fresh project in Angular 17. Okay. First of all, I will open the terminal here because I need to install some packages. npm install prime ng. This is the first command which I need to use. Okay. After this, I need to go to style.css file. And I need to import these packages I will mention in the description box. Okay. So you can copy from there. Now I need to go app.config.ts file and I need to import browser animation module here. This provide animation I need to add in the provider section like this okay now i need to restart my application now we need to go to browser so you can see the font also changed and you can see the theme are coming okay that means ng prime is working fine now we need to import we need to check if we use the button how that will be work before this we need to import button module here like this now you can see all thing is fine now we need to go to browser first button is coming so this is working fine okay now if we want to modify something then we can do one thing reset prime ng right and layer reset button this button I have typed here suppose I want to remove these lines right on focus so how can I do I will add and symbol here and I will write focus here box shadow done okay now we can check when we click on this nothing is coming right so we can customize the CSS like this. Okay. Now, if we want to install Tanmid also there, then how we can install? Okay. I need to go first Tanmid website and I have opened the Angular installation part. I will copy this command. Paste it here. The next one also I will copy. This will generate talwin.config.js file. This part also I will import. Fine. Now, I will add this one here in the SAS file. But make sure you, need, you don't need to import this base one. Okay. Now, we need to restart our application again. Okay. So if I refresh this one, then we need to check the Tailwind is working fine or not. So I will copy this one. And if I paste in the HTML file, so you can see this is working fine. And also this is coming from the style, right? So just like a, in Tailwind, we can add the text color. 
so if i add like this then you can see on the browser also this will be reflect okay so tailwind also working fine here that's it which i want to do if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest videos if you think i need to create videos on how to use different types of prime angular components just let me know in the comment section definitely i will create thank you for watching